and welcome to episode 72 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. I've been busy the last couple of days, so the next season isn't completely ready at this point. I could happily start it on ultimate difficulty, but want to find a solution that doesn't boost up AI strength and heading. Pretty sick of that, to be honest. Player upgrades haven't happened just yet, so here's my plan. I'm going to be extra generous in these three pre-season games, and whoever impresses gets an enhanced upgrade. So there's definitely something to play for today. We got Vitaly Belakociap, a right back German. Branimir Bratberg, who's a five-star, five-star central midfielder. This guy is insane, right? Theo Krellin, a winger called Theo at Alexandra that's better as a striker. Pretty crazy. Zarek Valentin from Puerto Rico. Just interesting, man. I mean, I don't think there's anyone else in this save called Zarek. Lorenzo Vlat, great second name. The Dutch players really coming in strong. Turbadi Banger from Belgium. Noam Wanner, a Swiss left back. Christ Torre from the Ivory Coast. Then we got Emiliano Sky. Just an interesting name, really. I'm not going to sign him up, but here's one that I might sign up. Bonk Adebanjo. And how about Dries Grimm? Regan Starbuck. Anas Tanane. Bin Ye. Mike Sense Gakpo. Un reasonable names and it feels like we're a premier league team now you know shortlisting players from barcelona players from ajax so these six players from Adabanjo down to gakpro are the ones that i'm really interested in now we don't have that much space in the squad currently at 47 we have five spots left Adi Banjo is not a five foot six centre back. Stop. Right, which one of these do I want to sign first? My goodness, Bonk Adi Banjo is 37 overall. Straight in with the valuation of £70,000. Bonk Adi Banjo, they've accepted it. I would too, looking at that player and that stat sheet. Boy, oh boy. His best stat, oh my goodness. Is it acceleration at 48? Man, that is a bad stat sheet. <laughs> £130,000 for Regan Starbuck, which is accepted by Ajax. Gotta have a bit of Dry's Grimm in here. Gonna offer the £200,000. We'll have a lot in our transfer budget. Only at 50 at the moment, but I'm sure the board will give us more because we had so much money by the end of that first Premier League season. Going in for Maxence Gakpar. Apparently his valuation is a million pounds. Uh, can't see that personally. Barcelona want a sell-on clause. That's petty. But I'll accept it. I'm just talking to Anas Tanane's club now. His valuation is 1.2 million. But they're saying that we could possibly get him for much cheaper than that. Let's take a look. No, they're wanting a little bit, which I understand. He is 62 overall. Let's go for 1.3 million. It's accepted. Anas Tanane moves a step closer to joining Wimbledon. Here comes Binyet. Yeah, been yet. So these are all ready. Like, we have five spots and six players awaiting contract negotiations. I've got my trusty notepad. So anybody who impresses me in the preseason, albeit with the smallest detail, I am going to make a note of, and they will improve as a player. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hang on a second. I don't think you've understood this. My budget this year was 26.4 million. They increased it to 50. But that was less than what I had at the end of last season. I'm stunned. That's ridiculous. There's loan offers coming in already. Okay, right. I need to think about this. Rotherham United, Yoju won. Preston wants Spencer Hughes. Uh, Setubal won Edson Andre Chavango Jr. They all seem like suitable clubs to go to. Good valuation on Spencer Hughes at £13 million. I think we're going to accept all of these so i've gone through this club put a crazy amount of people on the loan list we go to financial contracts there's a lot of players running out at the end of this year so i've got to keep an eye on it some very good players calamo flannery edvaldo marvelous biliat schneg maxence gakpa has been approached by someone else what kind of wage do you even want like for someone of 59 overall i'm expecting to pay no more than £2,000 a week. But I'm sure you'll be absolutely livid with them circumstances. They were totally insulted by that. Why does everybody want a release clause now? Stop it. Stop being silly. Bin ye, 1.8 thousand. They want to move it up to 2.3. Okay. Bin ye, 
Signed for Wimbledon. I wonder what Bonkada Banjo wants as a weekly wage. Hopefully, no more than 26 pence. I'll give you 600 quid a week. Go on. Take it. How is that insulting? How is that insulting? Oh, 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 that is ridiculous. Mate, you're 37 overall. You're a short centre back. What use are you? This is why you should save after every successful transaction. I haven't done that, so we're gonna have to wait a week. That's the kind of player that I like. No issues whatsoever, a couple of good firm handshakes. See you in a bit. Wonder if Regan Starbuck wants to come back to England. I'm gonna stick 3,000 pounds on the table. They've actually dropped it a little bit, so yeah, they probably do wanna come back to England, even though the Ajax Youth Academy is one of the world's finest. Oh, I was gonna put a 500 pound wage in, but I, that's not gonna work, is it? It's probably gonna be like 1.5, and even then, it'll still be insulted. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait on these lads. Maybe Gakpo gets a loan, and therefore, we won't be able to move in for him. Tanane Adabanjo, currently, nobody's interested. I mean, uh, is anyone interested in Bonk Adabanjo? That is ridiculous. What's going on with the alternate? Why have you got black shorts, black socks? What difference is that to dark green? AFC Wimbledon against Espanyol. Edvaldo, you think that he's slow? He actually isn't in his stats. Oh boy, Dan Cole with a marvelous save. Yeah, new signings and another save. Dan Cole really flexing his muscles here. Chris Grimm finally gets it off to Spencer Hughes and he can run, he's a physical monster. Spencer Hughes is going, going, gone, but he needs help. Oh, very nicely done. It's going to be a corner kick. Well done, Spencer Hughes. Interception by Spencer Hughes. This is Regan Starbuck. Oh, the vision! The vision of Regan Starbuck. Who's this? I think it's another new signing. No, it's Nitin Hello! Yes, mate! That has got me all pleased because Nitin Hello in the last preseason really struggled. But here he is, slotting home. A quite easy goal. But there you go. He has to be in that position. And Regan Starbuck spot on with the pass. We're leading. Yoju won. Oh my goodness. Well, that is a wonderful pass from Yoju won. Anderson Palulu got a score. Man, what a ball that is from the left back. This is Binye looking up. We've got a run from Nitin. Hello, not really tightly marked. Yeah, Binye. Oh, Regan Starbuck. Oh, he got a score. We are opening these guys up. It's Carving time! I rate this so highly. Go on, Regan. Okay. Drees Grimm! Mate, how have we not scored a more than one? One? Drees Grimm! Oh my goodness. Please put this game to bed. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, oh man! After all the good stuff that we've been doing. A ball to the edge of the box is banged in by Espanyol. And the scoreline is so unjust. It's 1-1 one, one here. Oh, Boris Theopovic puts the ball into Nitin. Hello! Oh my goodness, just score! No, lads, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me! Oh, it's saved by Desabato. It'll finish as a draw. Wimbledon fans in disbelief. We had so many chances there. But I tell you what. Some fantastic, fantastic play by the players on show. Really impressive. Yoju Wan has accepted a one-year loan move to Rotherham United. Rotherham probably saw that friendly and gone, you know what, we need him at this club. Quite rightly, quality little player. This is a loan offer for Terrell Purrington coming in. I'll accept that. And also, loan for Virgil Lung who I really want to get out of the club this season. Borussia Mönchengladbach against AFC Wimbledon. It's a lovely turn by Adilovic. Like he played really well in the last pre-season tournament. Oh, got to be careful. Can pull it back. It's Virgil Lund. Yes! Oh my, we cannot score. Oh, in fact, that is an amazing save. It's going to be difficult to make way for new signings because most of these players have that specialness that I look for in youth squad legends. Well played by Much and Gladbach. Tell you what, if we can somehow manage to get a draw here, then we do have a chance of qualifying for the knockouts. Back post to Chuck Wu. Oh, Virgil Lung. Boy, oh boy. We just need one goal, lads. And this one goal's coming up. 
It's an Erzdegaard through pass to Boris Diopovic. Yes! I'll give him time in that hole and Erzdegaard will find passes. It's just the pressure of the Premier League. The speed of it. Got to acknowledge it. It's pretty good defending in the end. We've got a draw here, which sets up perfectly for the final game. If we win it, surely we're through. Spencer Hughes has been loaned out and we've got a transfer offer here from Pohang Steelers. Interested in purchasing Randy Kunde, a fee of two million pounds. Don't want to accept that just yet. We'll play him in the next game. If we don't see anything special, he's gone. If we see a spark, he stays for the moment. Terrell Perrington has moved to Gangwon FC. Now Dominic Watts, who played that last game alongside Terrell Perrington, off to Valladolid. Valladolid. They play a false nine, I rate it. AFC Wimbledon against Werder Bremen. Recovered by Ronaldo Augusto Chapman. It's Reggie Leverock. Ugh! Second chance, he's bounced over the goalkeeper. And Reggie Leverock has got his first goal, albeit in a friendly. It doesn't really count to the uh, proper tally of his career, but so what? These players have well and truly shocked me today with how good they've performed. Although, we got Verta Bremen equalizing quite quickly. It's Reggie Leverock. He's trying to do some skills to... Oh my goodness, Innocent Vaughn took it off his feet. What? I tell you what, if you put that in the back of the net, no one would be complaining, but what is Innocent Vafara doing there? Already looking very lively indeed, it's Luis Treveso with a wonderful finish. This guy knows how to put it in the back of the net. Well, that is a shocking pass from Richie Ruffles. Manitas was left stranded and it could go from bad to worse. Richie Ruffles, what are you doing? Oh, there's a guy running straight down the middle. It's Luis Treveso, finish. Oh, it's beautiful! Man, what a finish of Luis Treveso. Get in! Oh, that's a lovely ball. Come on, Cone, well done. Great save, chipped up. It's off the crossbar. No, and Dan Cone lost it in the air. What a shocking piece of goalkeeping. That is a horrific mistake. He's got to come and claim that. Should have claimed that quite easily. It was right on top of him. What's he doing? Just grab the ball, mate! Dan Cohn is back to saving things, which is nice to see. There's a big clearance, I think, by Richie Ruffles with Ronaldo Augusto Chapman trying to chase. He is one of these people that looks very skillful, but he yet to do something magnificent, I think. Might have been all right in one of the cup games. We are now losing to Werder Bremen. Less than three minutes of regular time to go. It's Boris, it's a banger. We haven't won the ball back with the time remaining, so that's full time. Wimbledon four, Werder Bremen four. If we haven't qualified, then I mean, it's a great effort from the lads. We have qualified and we're playing St. Etienne in the semi-finals. Look at us go. Virgil Lung has been loaned out and then we got a loan offer for Mick Stanko. Not a great season for him last season. I thought that he was going to hit the ground running. Uh, and he just wasn't that replacement that we needed for Callum O'Flannery. So, a loan offer here we're going to accept. Randy Kunde, I don't think we need to negotiate this one. We'll just accept the two million. Up the ante a little bit. Like, this is a stronger lineup than what we've seen in the group stages. It's St. Etienne against AFC Wimbledon. Needs in hello with the power run and the fake shot to go past the goalkeeper. Yes! It's just about crept through. Excellent composure by Nitin. Hello. The loan has really done him some good. And this is without the improvement to the overall as well. This could be a very, very good player. I'm super excited. I'm so glad that Nitin. Hello is back amongst the goals. Dominic Watts all the way across. I don't think we need substitutes here. These players are performing so well. Man. Anderson Palulu is just strength, speed, a bit of excitement, and he could go all the way. Oh, no end product. He's exactly like Lalina Fontaine. That's the kind of winger that I, I seem to be swaying towards. A lot of speed, pretty physical, no end product, but dead exciting. Although it would be very cheeky to say that Eric Melville and Calamo Flannery have no end product. Oh my goodness. But compared to, like, YSL wingers of the past, you can see that their production rate is lower. Regan Starbuck! Oh, boy! Full time. We're going to go through to the final of the European International Cup. 
after a 1-0 victory over St. Etienne. Happy days. Loan offer for Reggie Leverock and Meredith Ellis. Both going to be accepted. Randy Kunde has been sold to Pohang Steelers. Bit strange. Uh, Gakpa's gone out on loan as expected, but we've actually offered a million pounds to his loan club and they've accepted. Now, I've got the live editor on and this might be a mistake on its part, but we're going to negotiate and see what we can do. Very interesting stuff. His wage has gone down drastically. £3,500 a week. We'll agree to that. So, I've actually signed Maxence Gakpo, but not from Barcelona, it looks like. Bonkers, right. And talking about bonk, it's Adabanjo. Now we're going to try and give him a grand a week. Surely. It's still insulting. Bonk. He's 37 overall. I don't understand. Durante's shocked. He's like, what do you want from me? Hey, Anas Tanane has agreed a contract. So he's basically the worst player that I've given a very competitive salary to. Stunning behavior. Bonk and a banjo already turned into a club icon even before he signed. Final of the preseason tournament, it's Wimbledon against Wolfsburg. That midfield partnership between Binya and Dries Grimm, what a partnership it is. Seen the same old finishing qualities though. Binya, look at this shot. <laughs> number 48 and number 49, them two midfielders on points. Jiggly clears. Oh. And Desabato. <laughs> There's questions. Chapman. Easy pass, Stravezo, and again, oh, it's Chapman! That's gotta be a foul, it doesn't matter! Yes, it is, it's an onside goal, no problem, it's Stravezo once more! My voice is going, I don't want any more of this. Great save, Desabato. Quick sub, Erstergaard, yes! Desabato been flying around to make sure that this isn't a late winner from Wolfsburg, but it is, it is sadly, oh... He pulled off two tremendous stops, but a bullet header at the front post goes all the way across into the top corner. And a big fight from Wimbledon. From the first whistle of the first game is over. Luis Trevez, unfortunately the man who had to mark him, mate. You can't really blame anyone there. I'm a bit gutted, let's just say that. We have come so close to a memorable victory in one of the preseason tournaments. I don't even think we'll have time to attack. That's it. Wolfsburg, we're basically the last kick of the game. Win the entire tournament. Amazing stuff. Well done, AFC Wimbledon. You've surpassed all the expectations there. Congratulations. Mick Stanko been loaned out. We have a loan offer here for Cocky Fudgy that will accept. Interest for Lyon Massimo from the Blue Wings. Celtic is a good place for Luis Traveza to go. That could sway me. Honestly, I'll accept that. Massimo and Fudgy are loaned out. We've got a loan offer in for Nitin Hello that I might reject. Nitin Hello could be staying around because we're expecting Stravezo to go to Celtic. Joanna Schneg suffered a sprained ankle out for three weeks. Richie Ruffles out on loan to Bristol City. Loan offer now for Shabalala. Why not? What a baller. We'll also accept the offer coming in for Edson Andre Chavango Jr. Try and get Reggie Leverock a move. That's it. We are now at the start of the season. It's an away fixture. The first leg of the qualifying round in the Europa League. That's going to be so exciting. But before that, I need to sort out the overalls of these players. Pleasantly surprised with how it went today, honestly. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.